So I was tagged in the mid-year adult coloring review tag by Emma Colors. I was tagged by her. The tag is by uh, Sassy Coloring and adapted by Amberly Silencia. So yeah, uh, let's get straight into it. The first one was, did you have any goals for the first half of the year? And uh, how many pages you colored? And how was the first half of the year? So I didn't really have any goals for this year. Which might be good, because <laughs> I started out the year... Like in January I didn't color anything in... Uh, in... let's see... In January I didn't color anything more or less. In April I also colored very little, so I combined April and May together into one video. And now in June I also <laughs> haven't colored that much, so I'm going to combine these two. Yeah, so I <laughs> have a bit of a slump, so that's the answer to how, we, how it's been. I mean, coloring-wise not that well, life-wise okay, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> it is how it is. Um, the number of pages colored though is still quite... I was a bit surprised when I counted now. Um, I counted to 20, 20 finishes and 20 works in progress. Uh, which is a lot for some people. For me it's probably... I probably do about 10 per month otherwise. So usually I'd be at 60. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. I'm not. <laughs> so I'm I'm down a third. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, it's not that's not everything that coloring's about, right? So yeah. Anyway, next up is um what's your favorite page or show? I think it was like I think I'm allowed to show a few pages. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> from the first half of the year. So I have a few books here and uh one of them is my body color with uh, the Norwegian colorist in Dreamlands. And this is the snail that I have somewhere. Here we go, the snail. Um, it's not a page I usually would have reached for, so I'm really happy to have it done. It does have a bit of shimmer and glitter, which is fun to see. And I think what I like a lot also is we chose a coloring palette. So, you know, that's always a bit fun when you try to make that work for you. And I um, used Water Beast markers diluted with water, which is a technique I enjoy a lot. And then Polychromos on top. And um, yeah, I uh, really like this. Uh, I do have some minor bleed through, but uh, that's going to be fine. So that's one. And then another favorite is a group body color in Magic Dreamland. Um, this was, I think it was hosted by Dugu Robot. I hope I haven't said that wrong. Um, let's see, where is the, here, 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 here. Kind of similar colors, no? <laughs> With the green and brown. Uh, but yeah, this is also one of my favorites. Uh, it does have a bit of glitter and shimmer. It has some uh, washi tape on our clothing or in their clothing. And uh, yeah, water based markers and polychromos and washi tape and gel pen is used here. I love these pictures. Really should do more. <laughs> um, and last picture, or I have two more actually. One is in uh, Camellia Angel Kova and it's just a simple marker page, but I really like it. Uh, uh, it's in the autumn one, which, I mean, if you're counting, <laughs> it, <laughs> there's, it hasn't been autumn yet this year, and I have already colored one picture for autumn, and I like it. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I like this a lot with the browns and muted colors. Um, and this is uh, water beast markers and alcohol markers. Yeah. And last but not least, we have my one of my recent videos, and this is in Secret Garden by Johanna Bassword, and it is. Where's the page? No, that's the work in progress. It's the well. It was a, also a body color with um, my colorful diary. 
and it is somewhere here. Let's see here, this one. Uh, so yeah, this is actually a video on my channel, so uh, it's a bit sped up, so it's hard to follow along totally, but they do show how I did this. Uh, and it's uh, water-based markers, uh, polychromos on top, and some ink tents as a base layer. So yeah, those are my favorites this far this year. Uh, next question was, uh, what's the most color dim book this year? And for me, that's Fairy Shampoo. It's really not a surprise for me. This is one of the books that um, I grab when I struggle with you know with uh, with coloring <laughs> or it's my it's my comfort book one of my comfort books i grab it when i just want to fill in uh, i do plan the colors a bit so it's not totally random i have other books for totally random coloring um but yeah so uh, and this is all all the book is in progress and i use water based markers so this is my most colored in this year uh, these two especially like are finished this year and uh, as well as this one and some other ones so uh, yeah that's my most coloring book this year uh, next question is what's your newest buy book and why did you get it and um, <laughs> I haven't bought coloring books this year at all yet uh, might be coming or might be you know <laughs> not. Um, however, I just remembered, I think this one is uh, arrived, let's see, sorry. I think this one arrived this year. So, this is Gradov in Drogelepote, Slovenia, so castles and other beauties of Slovenia. And uh, I know the artist, so I got a copy. Um, but yeah, so this is, you know, different places in Slovenia. And uh, I'm really happy about this. The paper is really good. Uh, and I'm going to enjoy coloring and learning about a bit about the different places I'm going to do the same as I did with one of the videos that I have uh, started filming uh, from one of these pages when I like to do some googling about this place as well and learn a bit more so uh, yeah uh, next question is are there any new artists uh, that you found this year that you like um, I know this artist, so I can't really say it's a new artist for me, uh, but um, yeah, I don't think so. I, I really, I haven't been, you know, keeping up uh, with watching uh, coloring videos, I guess. I've been distracted by other hobbies. <laughs> So, uh, no, I, I haven't really found an, a new artist. I would love to, so if you have any new ones that you like, do put them in the comments so I can check them out. Um, yeah. Next up is... Wait, let's see. Uh, the most used supplies. Yeah, the water base markers for me. Again, uh, comfort coloring uh, for me means books like this and it means uh, water based markers. Sago liked by uh, Emily Lidehal Öberg is also uh, uh, grab, like a usual book for that <laughs> period in life or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah. Uh, next up, body colorings and new techniques. Um, so, I've done quite a few body colorings. I did the, you saw the one in the Secret Garden and the one in uh, uh, Magic Dreamland and the one in <laughs> Daydreams. And then I've also have an ongoing coloring with Emma Colors 2020 who tagged me. Uh, and that's in Villain's Sun. I feel like I've showed that page so many times. Where is it even? Uh, didn't I drag it out? Maybe not. Uh, I'm going to be lazy and not <laughs> not drag it out again. <laughs> but it's the one with the deer uh, that I've been working on really slowly. And I think that's that. Uh, I hope I haven't forget anyone. Um, forgotten, I mean. Um, yeah. Let's see. No, that, mm, hopefully that's it. <laughs> 
next up we have um, if you found any new coloring channels and again same same answer as before but I would love for you guys to like uh, you know if, if you have a channel uh, and you think and you're small or new and I don't know about you do do like do a shout out in the comments you're very welcome um, and uh, and you guys if you want to recommend anyone uh, please go ahead uh, and then we have um, any anticipated coloring books for uh, that are coming out the half of the year I never keep track of that anyway so uh, skipping that question and moving on to the last one which is do you have any purchasing regrets and no <laughs> since I haven't really bought anything coloring related I bought a lot of stationery related stuff like and a few of those are really frivolous and I'm not, really not stuff I like, I like need uh, but I've bought these uh, metallic watercolors uh, they are kind of coloring related though uh, not regretting them yet um, and though I'm not sure I need them uh, but now I have them <laughs> And I bought this uh, weird thing today. It's like um, a line a day sort of thing, five years diary. So you like you have the uh, January 27th there, and then you're supposed to write 20, I don't know, 2023, 20, and you write a line, and then 2025 20, you might return to it. And it's like that for all the different dates of the year. Uh, and it's different like classical masterpieces. So um, yeah, uh, <laughs> no, no regrets. Uh, but there have been some frivolous buys, but uh, no regrets. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I guess that's it for this video. I, I, I'm leaving the tag open, so anyone who wants to join, go ahead and uh, uh, yeah, consider yourself tagged. <laughs> All right, see you in the next one. Bye.